In the Clouds. Uh, it's the first song of the album because to me this kind of encapsulates the last six plus years of my life of trying to believe that things were going great because all the signs outside of me were pointing towards things are great. You know, like opportunities are here, like doors are open, like people actually care about you for the first time and you're not just musical wallpaper singing at some cocktail reception, you know, like. After I did that show, all of these things happened, all of these things that were supposed to be positive for my career and my life were happening. But because I, I it was never a part of the plan. It was never a part of like my vision for myself as an artist, as a songwriter, as a musician. To end up, you know, singing Chinese covers on national Chinese TV. Like, it, that's, that's a really cool path for somebody else, but it was a very, like, what the hell are you doing path kind of for me. It was like being thrown up in the air and then you don't know when you're going to come down and everything was just in this ethereal space for a while where I thought that is this my life now like am I it's like am I a famous person oh my gosh <laughs> like to have that peek behind the curtain it's so it's so uncommon that I felt like I had to do it um but it brought me nothing but anxiety and uh like just a lot of sadness and a lot of confusion as you'll see in the words over here wake up in the clouds singing louder than ever before so why am i afraid of heights closer to the sun it's a one-way ticket and more so why am i awake at night it was just this constant push and pull of like your life is great. No, everything sucks. Like, opportunities are happening. Oh, but I'm sad all the time. Like, uh, a, the, there's money, but uh, but why? <laughs> like, a lot of these, like, back and forths happening, like, all throughout in, in the back of my mind. This song was me just trying to make sense of it and really just vomit it out onto a song so that maybe I can feel it less inside of me and it's more outside of me now. <laughs> Look forward to these songs dropping once the album comes out, 22nd of September. Uh, they'll be fully yours and you can do whatever you want with them, really. Uh, I'm just happy that I went through this process because, like, despite being in and around the music industry for so much of my life, um, I have only been able to like skim the surface of my own authenticity and my own uh, self as a person. And I think this album kind of marks a very significant leap forward, for me at least, you know, like whether you like the music or not, but like for me it was so important to like dig deeper than I had ever done before and like really ask myself, why are you still doing this? It's been so long and like, what, what, what's left to say? It turns out I have a lot I haven't said and a lot that I want to say. It just took, you know, a lot more self-exploration to find out what those things were. Um, so if there's any takeaway you have from, you know, this whole presentation, it's that, um, like, don't stop digging, man. Like it's, it's a, yeah, it's an eternal journey and um, uh, you will only come out better for it even though the process might be hellish, you know, the process will be, it's, it's never going to be easy, it will be challenging, um, but yeah, keep exploring and keep doing you and being you and thank you guys for attending my TED talk. Um, <laughs>